Hello and welcome to Infinity. One of the most important things that we do when we're starting off you know, pretty early on uh, in editing photos is to get make sure that the whites are white and the greys are grey and the blacks are black. And um, we can have the automatic white balance can help us with that, the white balance tool. But let's have a look at uh, an important little very useful tool that can help us to really check that in more detail. And we start off, we go to the view and go down to studio and then go down here to info. Make sure this is checked because that gives us a little box here. Normally it'll be sort of, it might be down here, um, but when I'm using it and I drag it up to the picture so I can see it nearby. Because what this does is if I check those little arrows there, when I move around where the cursor is, it shows me the RGB here, the CMY uh, over there. Um, which are basically the, the the reverse of one another. So what I want to do with this is I'm now going to use the bottom one here and drag that out. I'm going to look over here and going, well, that kind of should be white. But here we've got 250, 249, 247. That's pretty close. Those are fairly good. Um, let's look at some other ones here, a bit light. 231, 229, 234. They're close, but maybe they could be a little bit closer. So let's bring up uh, we'll use the color balance tool um because all oh, it is about changing color and this lets you uh, separately edit uh, the shadows midtones and highlights so let's start with the highlights because uh, that's where these are that's pretty high these numbers are pretty high aren't they close to 255 which is as high as it goes now if i change these it's going to tweak these numbers here so the green looks a little bit on the low side doesn't it so let's bring up that one and bring it up to where it's close to two three it changes fairly quickly there isn't it two three three around that that the red was a little bit on the high maybe we'll bring that tiny tiny bit look there it goes ooh, ooh, ooh. it's very very close isn't it so we can change that a bit. We can type in here as well with those are percentage figures. So that's the way that we can do this. Now let's have a quick look at the midtones. There we go. Pick the midtones. We'll pick a an area that's different. We can drag this around here. So let's put that into the middle area there. What's that look like? That's 182, 181 and 198. So the blue's a little bit on the high side there. So the midtones, let's drag that down a bit to get closer to 18. Where is that going to be 182? And if it goes, it's going to go rather a long way. What you can do is, oh, maybe I'll just tweak this down a bit. Maybe I'll just push the other ones up because it's about getting them the same. You can do it this way as well. So what happens if I push those up to there? We've got 184, 184. Maybe push those up a little bit more. Okay, try not to push things out to the extremes. 191. Uh, is that going to go 185? There you go. Those are all the same. So midtones that will keep those about the same. And, and let's do the shadows. Go to shadows. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this on again. I could drag the point on the picture, but the reason for this is I well, you, you can drag this down. You can actually look at it. So they're there. Look, this is looking a bit purpley, isn't it? This should probably be black in here. The area of the left is the same. So we'll leave that point there and what we've got here 56, 38. So there we go in particular the green is really on the low side because that counts that magenta kind of tint. So if we drag that up a bit here and that up to about 55 and bring this one then down a bit. So they're going to be around about, yeah, around about 55, 56. Yeah, if you can get it within one or two of each other that's pretty good. So this now, if we watch the difference between this, we turn this off, look at the cast on that and the colouring there, that's a lot better. And it's done separately through those three areas of shadows, highlights and mid tones. So there we go. That's uh, a way of balancing your whites a little bit more carefully. You can also use color, other colour control tools. You could use curves, for example, and really shape it out. But this is quite a useful way of doing this. So there we go. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.